we're, we're gathered here today uh, to uh, do a groundbreaking for the Carver Park Splash Park. It's an exciting time for the neighborhood and the city. This is the council's uh, and the staff's uh, dedication to promises that have been made to bring more recreation to not only neighborhoods but to the community at large. Um, and this is really the council's dedication, particularly uh, the mayor and the council, and particularly uh, Mr. Sims, who has uh, really uh, attempted to bring Carver Park into uh, a state-of-the-art park. So with that, I'd like to uh, have the mayor come up and say a few words and any of the other council to, uh, before we do the ceremonial digging of the ground, we have v &K here, our contractor. Uh, we expect great things from him and we put pressure on him. And uh, I know he's gonna do a great job for the city. So with that, uh, Mayor LeBros. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming out on this not so beautiful day. Hopefully uh, there'll be some beautiful days in the near future when this uh, splash park is, is open for the, uh, for the citizens and, the, and the, the residents of this area. It's a beautiful park and this is gonna enhance this park. Um, the council is more than happy. Uh, like David said, we, we made some promises and we're, make, we're moving forward with a lot of things in the city. As many of you may have heard, we just went forward with the uh, re-expand the M&M building to uh, provide more services and activities for our seniors and our youth. We're looking at a sports facility in uh, Johnson Park, uh, which be able to allow our children to uh, participate in sports year round. Um, these are the things that the community needs, things that we promised when we came in. And I had mentioned at the council meeting last week, you know, every everybody when they run for office, every ticket I can think of going back 20, 30 years, they are, we're gonna do stuff for the seniors, we're gonna do stuff for the kids. Everybody uses that as a platform. Well. We're going to do it, and uh, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of cooperation from the from the whole city, but we're we're looking forward to it. Just like the splash park, and, and uh, David mentioned Mr. Sims. Where is Mr. Sims? He's over there. I know he's a little under the weather, but uh, his persistence and commitment to this was unbelievable. You, everybody should be very happy uh, to have Mr. Sims behind this effort, along with Mr. Pataglia, Deputy Mayor Canestrino, Councilwoman Debra, Debbie. Uh, Keelan Geddes, um, a lot of work went into this. It was a lot of back and forth, fighting with engineers, trying to get the right thing done, uh, just fighting over bathrooms. It was almost like you were decorating your own house, the way you were fighting over everything, but we got it done. So this time next year, there'll be a beautiful splash park here. I don't know if anybody has seen the one over at the uh, Second Ward Park over on uh, Polifly Road at that park. That thing is utilized by hundreds of children, right? And once this one's done, we'll probably look to put another one in another park, maybe down at Stive or something. These are good little things. It's kind of an alternative to the pools right now because pools are so costly and the liability insurance is almost prohibitive to put one in. But at least this is an alternative to give our children in the summer a place to go and to cool off. The other thing, again, with Mr. Sims and, and Mr. Pataglia is the school's uh, pool has been getting utilized now. Uh, I think, David, how many? 120. 120 kids at the pool last week. 200, 200 up to 200 kids using the high school pool which had been closed to the public but now through through the council's efforts uh is being and working with the board of ed and it shows you what happens when when the board of ed and council do work together we can get stuff done all right it's, it's open it's a pool just sitting there and now our children are using and our, our residents are using it so 12. 12 yeah when it first opened there were like 12 maybe maybe 15 people using it now we're upwards of 200 and that's in the winter months and i'm sure in the summer months will even increase but uh so without further ado let's uh get the shovels out all right i asked that the council and uh, mr trost come up here grab a shovel and we're going to uh ceremoniously throw some dirt and uh i don't know if he's gonna use that big backhoe or not i hope not but uh i think that was just to loosen us up thank you everybody for coming out today we appreciate it Everybody get a, get a shovel full of dirt. Yes. Right? And on the count of three, we're going to dedicate this new splash park at Carver Park. All right? One, One two, two, three. three. Yay! Yeah. 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 There we go. Congratulations, right. everybody. Thank you. 
They want to start digging. Bring your shovels and start eight o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I like that. I like the park. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Yeah.